Merry Christmas, guys! I'm Night Angel, and welcome to Christmas Tina, a Chinese visual novel set in Tokyo, Japan. This is a Christmas special for you guys, since I don't cover visual novels on my channel at all. There will be the usual two videos coming out today, so this Christmas special is in addition to that. Currently, this game only has a demo, so if you want to see more of this game, please subscribe, like, and comment. I will play more of this game depending on the view count and the comment. So what is this game exactly? This is a Chinese visual novel developed by Neko Day and published by Coconut Island Games. Currently, this game is only in Chinese, but I will add my own subtitles for you guys to read. These subtitles may not be exact since I'm not a professional translator, but I'll try my best getting the message across. As for my personal experience, surprisingly for the amount of anime I have watched, I didn't play any visual novels at all before. I always found the anime adaptations more enjoyable, so I will be delving into this genre for the first time here. Also, I hope that there is actual voice acting in this game, because if you have followed my channel, my voice acting is horrible. Anyways, enough rambling, let's see what this game is all about. So they have the English here, but if you hover around them, it's the Chinese. Oh my god, the voice acting is in Japanese. Okay, and okay, l let me turn, I think I need to turn the voice up a bit. This turns.
，像您说的，我努力过了。嗯，少し練習してみたのよ。あまりうまく言えないかもだけど。Tell me that this is not it. That I actually get to play the game. Okay, I actually do get to play the game. I thought that was just a trailer. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I thought that trailer, that animation thing, was it with the whole game here. Okay, so uh, the game. Starts off at 1987 summer, so this is just、uh, when Japan was really booming up、uh, before their depression、uh, in 1989. So these guys they are going to Tokyo to build their career to become to become、uh, to earn money being on the hype train. And then、uh, being in the boom of the Tokyo, so、uh, what does this say? If it's not you, if 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 if, if it was not me who was who did not get、uh, who did not get lied about, you wouldn't have died. So,、uh, like escaping the. Current, so like escaping the everyday life, I decided to go to Japan. So I think that this, our、uh, male protagonist here, he is Chinese, and he goes to Japan, and he meets this girl who is Japanese. Oh, so the prologue. That was the prologue. And then, let's see, chapter one. I think that means decision. August the last week, last week of August, as I entered high school, the last summer is finished. Everyone, every one of my classmates、uh, is sad about the upcoming school year.、Uh, they're, they're trying to finish their summer homework, and I was in. But I was in the hospital from the beginning.、Uh, from the beginning that、uh, I was in the hospital to now. It has been already one month. Yesterday, the car was not a car. It was 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 a car.
What are they saving up for? Did you not earn enough money? I don't understand if everyone's working. <laughs> what? Where does all the money go? Alright, I guess they're explaining. Some disease. Yep. Heart disease. How much is the surgery? If they have worked, have worked for so many years. Three years. Hmm. Show uh, this graphics thing. It's really old school. It's 
I guess this is... This is really interesting. かなちゃん夕食まだだよねあはいじゃあ何か食べるお腹減ってるでしょういえ大丈夫ですかんなちゃん遠慮しなくていいよパパお金持ちだから。Is it one of those shady drops? じゃあ後で揉めるのも嫌だから先に説明しておこうかは,はい何でしょうかバイトは週に1回3時間月に7万円これで問題ないえそんなにあは<笑>正確には10万なんだけどね紹介料と足代として俺も毎月3万もらう形になってるからそれと食事代やホテル代もパパ持ちだからホテルそうそう欲しいものがあれば。直接パパにおねだりして俺は足がかりだしあわっ Yep I guess correctly どうしたのそんな怖い顔してこれってその売春ですよねうんそうぶっちゃけるとそうだねもしかしてカンナちゃん分かってなかったのだって週一で月5万以上なんて他にないでしょあのやっぱり私やめます。<笑>今更さらそれはないんじゃないかなごめんなさい勘違いしてました
いやでもさ時給いいバイト紹介してってカンナちゃんが言ってきたんでしょでもこういうのだって思ってなかったし大丈夫だって俺だってカンナちゃんに変な人紹介しないってこのパパはこう見えてああすみませんおりますからだっておいおい危ないよ走行中なんだからい,いえもう結構ですからちょだから危ないってそうだ。ちょうどひと夏をここで過ごしたうん。Well, at, le at least this. Oh, this accident. That doesn't have any side effects. Oh. I guess. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. The no side effects part. I wish that they can add some color into this. Well, this effect is nice, but it's just yellow and just some drawings. ええ、景先生，你磨磨唧唧干什么呢？对不起，来了，赶紧给我收拾去，顾客还等着呢。是。你，也别闲着。嗯。最近这些年轻人啊，一个个都这么不顶用。
Working in a restaurant. Alright, I'm gonna pause here. So, working in a Chinese restaurant is not like working in in an American or Canadian restaurant or a Western restaurant. Working in a Chinese restaurant, you have to be constantly on the move. You're uh, you have basically have no breaks at all, and I understand. Well, back. And I understand how he must feel when he's working like this. He's just biding his time, living every day as his last day. No, no, that's not the right phrase. Just living by every day. Well, back in 19, 1987, um, in China, this kind of thing is really very normal. If you can't get into university, the government, they introduce jobs to you. They give you jobs, basically, but the jobs that they give you are like this, like just being a chef at a restaurant. Uh, despite the restaurant being government owned and everything, uh, you have a stable job, stable salary, stable mo money income, but the income is not very, not a lot. And also, uh, it's like the income is just good for you, your everyday life, but it, it's not, there's no extra money for you to save up for future stuff. and. I mean, these jobs you may not even like, like this guy here. So that's something, to, to, just to give you guys some sort of background on uh, how this whole state is uh, back in the days. Uh, people like, like him, they... Uh, not him exactly, but people were having this kind of thinking where they just go on their everyday life doing the exact same thing every day and then they get their pay, they get their everyday food, some sort of basic clothing, basic food. They just become lazy and they become, they, they rely, they become reliant on this sort of living and they don't really want to improve themselves or they don't really want to uh, what's the word increase their skill level into becoming something bigger But of course, there are those special cases where people are doing businesses. Uh, they go, I, I don't know which part of China this guy is from, but uh, if you go down south during this time, cities like Shenzhen, they're really blowing up, booming up. They have a lot of economy, economy, they have a lot of money in building high rises, a lot of uh, housing and, and jobs available. People are making their own businesses. A lot of money, 
uh, Shenzhen and of course uh, Hong Kong. Uh, because th those, because Hong Kong and uh, Shenzhen, they're just a, a bridge away. I think there was a bridge, yeah, uh, or maybe it wasn't built back then, but it was really close. Uh, it's the southern part of China. Oh yeah, but back then Hong Kong didn't even became part of China, right? It was in 1997 that Hong Kong became part of China. But if this guy is in the north part of China, then this kind of living, this kind of state of living, it's really uh, usual, it's really common. So he has no passion, no dream, basically. Oh yeah, so for those of you who don't know, uh, there is a final test, a final overall test on the, la on the last year of your high school career. So this test basically encompasses everything that you have learned from your elementary school all the way to your high school. Obviously, your elementary school is just the foundation and what you learned in high school is what they're gonna test you, right? So this one test, uh, this one test, or uh, this one test overlaps uh, three days. So it's a three day duration test. And each day there are a couple of subjects that you have to do. Uh, and this whole test, I think before it was the whole, the overall full mark of this test is 650. And now I think it, they increase it to 700. There are, I think six, five, five, six or seven subjects that are covered in this test. So, and this test, it basically determines your future. Whether you're going to a university, or you're going to a college, or you are not going to any of those two at all. Uh, so, this guy, he basically failed his this one test, and he, as you see here, he is just uh being treated as a just having a chef job uh, at a random restaurant that does not pay very well however if he went into an actual university then he would have a better future uh, since back then uh you know being a university student and being a university graduate would yield a better job. Uh, when you come out of university, you would get a better job, a pay, better paying job, a job that you actually want to do, a job that uh, it's basically the same as what you did in universities, the same area the same disciplines as what you said in, in university. And then the university actually gives you a job back then. So you don't have to look for your own job, but the government basically uh, gives you the job t for you to go to. And of course, being a university student, you will get paid a lot more than for example, here he is just a high school graduate. Okay, let's go. Keep going. So, the deal, Sakura san, okay, let's get it. Huh? 
はい長い間お世話になりましたあんたは東京かなちゃんも無理しないようにね松葉杖慣れるまで大変だからうんカンナ足痛くないうん大丈夫急がなくていいから無理しないようにねあそこよ。What? ねえお母さんあれって気にしないででもなんか私のことを噂してるようなそれより早く家に帰りましょうあうんお姉ちゃんおかえりもう足は大丈夫なのうんエミにも心配かけてごめんね。うん、エミちょっとお父さんと遊んでてくれるお父さんお父さんお父さんもしかしてエミの病気悪くなってるのいいえむしろ最近は元気すぎるくらいよ
っかよかった。こことととじゃななくあなたのことなのよ私あれ、今日は してた佐藤さん亡くなったの。What? え？もう一人後ろに乗っていた人も亡くなったらしいわ。What? That is so. That is just so BS. No. No, that is not possible in real life. If you're sitting in the front and you only got the leg fracture, you cannot sit in the back and die. What? How does a person sit in the back die? Oh my god, this is so so BS. Just for the story's sake. Oh, she fell out of the car. Oh, maybe that can explain the car accident, but. Really? You... Maybe, I guess, some sort of coincidence. じゃないわ警察の人もそう言ってたわでもあの時私が<笑>あなたが気に病むことはないのあれは事故よ<笑>わあ、really? How does she only hurt her leg, not her head? Or arms?
感な自分を責めるなともすぐに忘れろとも言わないわあれは少し運が悪かっただけ運がええそう思うようにしなさい私は悪くない。Well, it's not her fault, but when you're involved personally in an accident like that, and then the people that you're with actually died, pass away, then of course you feel this dread, this emotion in you that you're trying to suppress, but you're try also trying to let out. It's Understandable. It's a、uh, really, really depictive very well here. Even though in the beginning,、uh, it's not her fault.、Uh, she misunderstood the situation and she just wants to get out. And then it's the, it's the other people, the Sato's、uh, fault, if I can call it her his fault,、uh, that he. It's not stopping the car、uh, in time. It's not stopping the car for her to get out and then end this transaction, which led basically led to the whole accident in the first place. I think if Sato and the person in the back of the car, if they didn't die, then yeah, obviously it's their fault. But since that they passed away, they died. Then the person who is alive in, from the whole situation, from the accident here, feels responsible, feels guilty, feels all sorts of emotions because she is a person who she is the only person who has lived through this accident. Basically, even though you tell yourself that it's not your fault, you still feel responsible just because those two people. Uh, who are supposed to be alive? They have died now. Yeah.、Uh, right now, this chapter one is really sad. To pick the sad introduction here. All right, one man's passed. Okay. Anata, Sakurai Kanna san ne. Really?
亡くなったことはご存知ですかはいお母さんから聞きましたそうまあこんな狭い町じゃ隠しておけないものね<笑>あなた運が良かったわね運がだって普通は助手席が死ぬもんでしょう運転席や後ろの人が死んだのにあなたは死んでないじゃないそのすみませんはあすみませんってどういう意味あなた謝るようなことしてたのそんなつもりじゃだったらうちの子はどうして死んだのよそのむしろあんたが死んでわびなさいよたぶ、うん The family of the dead, the people who have died, and their families, their response, their speech, and it's like, come on. They're already feeling guilty. <laughs> you don't need to do this. There's no right or wrong here. There it is. This word. This phrase.、Uh, little translation is bubble economy or just a bubble. This is what was described in, I think, right now, too.、Uh, it's basically describing economy as not a stable economy, it's just built on bubbles. And then 
the bubbles are basically the how the houses their the inflation of the or just cost of houses going up a lot and then everything it's based on the housing price and all the food and everyday supplies their prices are increased or a lot of inflation is happening and then when the bubble pops everything it just drops all the houses their prices uh, are dropping and okay never mind i don't know a lot of this i don't know a lot of what's what is this bubble economy in the first place it's just based based on my little understanding of economy yeah um it's just basically in one sentence a really good economy during this time but it's not built on stable foundation it's just really uh, just bubbles and when the bubble bursts uh, your economic situation suffers if you want to read more about this bubble economy you can obviously google it i think there are a lot of websites out there that you can read about personally i don't know much about economics Yeah, so it, as it's described here, it's really easy to make money. Everything is really good. Uh, really easy to make money is the key here. But it's money, they, I mean, it's, it won't make, your money is not worth money anymore after the bubble bursts. For example, a hundred bucks, you can buy a lot of food. But after this bubble burst, 100 bucks you can only buy a loaf of bread that's the, an extreme example but you get the idea sakurai san hontou ni taigaku o sareru no desu ne So she's going to Tokyo? Hi. Moshiwaki Arimase. So de Korekara dos runo deska? Ichio Yotewa Arimas. Oh, so she's at her last year of high school and she has to quit school yeah i think it's good to leave everything behind and start anew hmm? We're back in China.
Go. Fully colored. Oh wow. Wait, there's chapter 2? I thought this is just a demo. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, that chapter 1 was really long. Although there weren't any choices to choose from. I think it's just setting up a background story. Alright, I'll try to do, th do it like this. I'll try I'll upload a video on the 24th and then upload another one on the 25th and possibly if there's one more if there's more chapters I'll upload on 26th and I'll try actually I'll do this 26th will be the last day of these uploads and I'll see how many chapters are there in total and then I can arrange it, arrange my videos like from 26 backwards, 26, 25th, 24th. If there's more chapters, the so 23rd, 22nd, and so on. I will see how how many chapters there are in this game, and I'll arrange it like that. So this is the first video. Uh, I'm not sure which day this will come out on but Merry Christmas everyone and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing and also leaving a like or comment so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in chapter 2 bye for now